Hello and welcome to Hacking the Exile, the shows that give you all the extra material you need to really appreciate the Exile 6C webisode. Uh, this is the second Hacking the Exile for this season and today I'm very proud to introduce one of our new interns, Joni Immonen. Welcome. Thank you. Joni, you have a very specific role here in our office. Yes. Exactly what are you doing? Uh, I'm basically uh, editing and uh, filming the Exile 6 e series. Um, prior to me filming and editing it, uh, mostly people like other interns and so on ha that had other duties had to also film. So I'm here to do the filming solely so that other people can concentrate on other things. But they didn't do the editing? They didn't do the editing, But no. you do that. I do that too. Okay. Because it's simpler if the editor is also here in Brussels. So, And... Um, Last week we saw the first episode uh, filmed and edited uh, by you. Yeah. Uh, are you proud of it? Um, is I this the best episode you've made so far? No, it is not. It's um, which, which one of the other episodes you've made for Hacking the Exile have been better? Um, of Hacking the Exile? Oh, oh sorry, uh, of Exile 6C. Exile 6C. Um, well, currently there is another episode in the works. Um, I'm not going to tell which one it is, though. But I feel like I felt more comfortable making it, though. Okay. Overall, this episode that you're mentioning, it's um, it, I think it's an overall good episode. Um, it's it's just that I was sort of hoping to do a little bit more with it, but we were sort of in a hurry with other production-related stuff, so I wasn't able to do exactly what I wanted later on, but it was fine, though. I mean, it turned out pretty great, I think. Well, uh, I hope the viewers liked it as well, and I'm, I'm pretty confident to say from experience that you will always be in a hurry, because that's the pace of the parliament. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've been here for three weeks now. Yeah, approximately three uh, weeks. What's yeah. your impression of the parliament? The parliament is... How could I say it? Uh, so far, the only uh, other parliamentary building I've ever been to before this building was the uh, Finnish Eduskuntatalo, which uh, at first when I went there, I felt like it, that was like large and great and something shock. Like I was in shock and awe of the uh, you know parliamentary building going in for the first time, but it has nothing on this because this building is large. It's kind of easy to get lost in here during your first week here. But after a while, you get used to the sheer, sheer immense size of the building complex. And, well, what comes to the parliament itself, it's um, from a filmmaker standpoint, it's kind of, it's kind of new to me in the sense that I've, I'm used to asking permission for what comes to the, uh, filming video in, like, let's say, concerts and so on. But over here, it's kind of different where you have to have a pass for filming and you are under no circumstances allowed to film like let's say people eating so that's that's something that was new to me uh, even though I had heard of it before but when you once you get here with your camera gear and you're like pass you're like okay so where was it I supposed to film then you nervously check the paper and it only says virtually like yep yeah, just don't film people eating that's pretty much it. Well, fortunately, there will be a lot of, of staff here to tell you when you're not allowed to film. I'm mm. pretty sure that they will be helping you with that. Yeah. So, uh, what do you intend to bring to the series? What, what, what will be the Yoni flavor of the show in the future? Mm, well, I think it might be in two ways. Uh, one of them being that there would be a lot more music tracks uh, overall in the uh, Exile 60 series, all, all under Creative Commons license, of course. Uh, the, uh, not, saying, not saying anything bad about the earlier episodes by any stretch, it's just that I felt on many, many cases that there could have been like some sort of ambient sound in the background or some sort of other music going in the background. So I'm going to increase that. Uh, then also what comes to the pacing, well, not the pacing per se, but the uh, tempo of the episodes, I, I'm going to try to make it a little bit more, a little bit more quicker, a little bit more to the point. And also on top of that, I'm trying to make it so that what comes to the framing, the shots themselves, that there are, there, I usually try to get as close to the subject as possible and try to get, fill the full frame so it doesn't, so it looks like the subject is in focus, so that I'm close by and it's more personal that way. Well, uh, you will have uh, ample opportunities seeing that you're both scripting and filming and editing uh, the show so you can take the shots you want to use. Uh, but 
of course, you still have the problem of the parliament being something that is actually happening in, in yeah. real time. That's, uh, that's basically, uh, there are two things to consider. First, there are, of course, um, moments that we are doing in the office, for instance. Even if they are not scripted in the office or any controlled environment, it's very easy to do a multi-cam production and make it run smoothly and uh, get, like, get the shots you want, even if it's like completely spontaneous, but so long as it's basically in a near studio environment, it's fine. But as soon as you go outside, for instance, uh, run, run behind someone with a camera and so on and so forth, it suddenly becomes a lot more unexpected in the sense that uh, all of us, like let's say if there's a, like a crowd, for instance, and let's say I'm trying to follow Amelia around, if someone pick, uh, picks Amelia up and tries to, uh, starts talking to her, even though I'm supposed to film her like walking to some place, for instance, it might actually, from my, my perspective, to turn into a near disaster at that point because I'm supposed to be filming Amelia go, reaching from point A to point B, then all of a sudden, boom, there's something else there in the middle of that completely screws the dynamic. <laughs> well, uh, I'm pretty sure you will have lots of uh, opportunities to see how to solve that. Um, and from my experience, that will probably happen quite a lot that mm. that unexpected happens. But it's... that's where the editing magic comes in, so. <laughs> so you will just blur them out. <laughs> Not Amelia quite. will talk into thin air and then she will continue and everything will be fine. Mm, I won't disclose the full details of how oh, I would Okay, so if you, if you were allowed to do your dream episode, what would it be about? A dream episode? That's, that's a tough question because I haven't actually thought of that question yet. Uh, I think my dream episode would be... Uh, I, don't, I don't mean to sound like a complete nationalist here, but I would like to see uh, some Finnish participation in uh, one of my dream episodes. It would be like something to bring home to, uh, to and uh, show, show people after the six months of my internship that uh, I've actually made a huge thing at the EU Parliament. And uh, I think folks at home would appreciate it even more if Finnish pirates were somehow represented in, in, in an episode. So, Amelia, surrounded by Finnish pirates doing the polka. Basically. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't think that episode will ever be aired, but uh, you should never say never. And uh, if the viewers, if you have any dream episodes you want uh, to be filmed, feel free to write a comment and I'm sure Joni will pick it up and perhaps those episode can become reality uh, as long as you don't include Finnish polka dancing. Uh, well, I think we will have to wrap it up for, for today. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. And I hope you've all enjoyed the episode and I'll see you again in two weeks.